Hey guys, welcome back to Sketch Day. I'm Spencer, and today we're going to continue our sketch that we started on the iPad Pro of an X Wing. Hopefully, you can see this X Wing. And we're going to be finishing this up by rendering the scene, maybe creating a composition, and seeing where we end up. So, if you've got an iPad Pro, feel free to grab it. If not, I know they're kind of hard to come by. Grab a pen, paper, whatever you got, and follow along as best as you can. Okay, we're just here to have fun. So, because I'm sketching digitally, so for those of you on paper, you may have to think of some other creative means to do this. I can do things like, let's merge these down, because I like, well, no, let's not merge these down. Let's turn this layer off. This was our initial X-Wing sketch layer. I'm going to turn that off, and now I'm going to duplicate this layer. Slide to the left, hit duplicate, and... With my tool here, I can actually scale this down. Okay, tweak the perspective, hit OK, and now I've got two X wings flying in formation. So if I want to make these seem more like, you know, a, a big squadrons flying together, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to save this one, meaning just turn it off and just keep duplicating this one here. And so now what I'll do is then, oops, what I'll do here is take these and start to form a composition. And let's turn off that one. Okay, so there's our main X-Wing right here. And I'm gonna scale this one down just a little bit like so and make it kind of the main part of our scene. So with digital sketching, we can do cool things like that where I can duplicate everything that I had um, in the scene. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that layer and start to merge these together. And for my background on this sketch, I wanna do something dark. So when you tap the background, you can actually adjust the color. So here you can see getting darker and darker and darker. So I'm going to choose something that's like a deep kind of gray for now. And under my image settings here, let's do a recolor. Actually, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to invert this. So bear with me just a sec here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to now take this black sketch and turn it white. So if I swipe here, I can lock the alpha on that layer, which means that anything that's a pixel on that layer will get colored. So now I'm going to switch to a painting brush that I made. It's just called Round Brush. I'm going to pick that, make it really big, and it's white. And I'll just paint over what I did before. And now my X-Wings are white. Pretty cool. So now I can start to color. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush on a new layer that's just below and adjust the opacity on the layers of my X-Wings as well. So now my new layer with a brush that has really low opacity. For these others in the back, because they're not going to have as much detail, because they're far further away rather, I'm just going to fill them in really quickly, just so they're there. And for the small ones, I'll need a really small brush. I'm using kind of a white color or really light gray color at this point. Okay, and this is kind of where I start out with my rendering. So now on a new layer, I can start to block in some highlights where we need them. Again, this is with the same brush. And we just adjust the opacity up just a little bit 
So this will go a little bit faster, but what happens is when you work with a lower opacity, you're able to kind of build up your value and form where you need it without fully committing to your final sketch all at once. Okay, and let's go ahead and get one of our big features in here that'll start to communicate the X-wingness of this, and that is some of the color on the side here. And I'm just gonna make up my own pattern on the actual wing. We'll just say this is some unknown faction that uses an X-wing because I'm pretty sure in the movies they're not colored exactly this way, but that's okay. So one of the cool things I can do here because I'm working digitally, you know, something like this might take a few hours to, to finish and really get to where I want it to be. But in the meantime, what I can do since I'm using this iPad Pro is go over to Safari here. And if I just tap and copy this image, I can jump back over to Procreate and let's go down to this layer here, make a new one, and I'm gonna just tap and hold, drag this layer down. And now, under my tools, insert, I can paste from the clipboard and scale this up to as big as I want it, or as small, just depends on what we're after here. Hit OK, and now, as a background, I have this really cool image that I can use. And just so it doesn't look so much like a photo, we can do things like perspective blur. Oops, gotta make sure I'm on the right layer here. So if I go to my photo, I can do a filter called perspective blur. Give just a little bit of motion to the background. And one thing I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna paint with this cool halftone texture that I've been really digging. And let's do this on a new layer. And I'm gonna pick this color, whatever color that is, from my space scene, and just kinda of eliminate part of this, okay? Just to kinda of clean things up, just a little bit. And if you're careful and use really light pressure, you can now start to add to your scene using that, that texture. And I work with lots of layers. Fortunately, Procreate handles them really well. So doing something like filling in with my round brush, filling in on my X-wing here on a layer just below, kind of gives me a base tone that I can work with in rendering this out. Now remember we still have our sketch layer and I can use that to pull out details where I need them to be. So this is mainly serving as a means to adding value to this sketch on top of my space background here. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, but all I'm gonna be doing is adding some highlights and shadows, and again, pulling out some detail out of this X-Wing sketch, and this will quickly become the focal point of the overall drawing. So now with a smaller brush, I can start to add a little bit more opacity, and start to pull out some details because I have my value already established and my forms are starting to show. So things like highlights on edges, reflected light, and again I always like to work with lower opacities and just kind of build things up as I go layer by layer and bit by bit. 
Okay, and like I said, I know it kind of looks like a mess right now, but once we pop that sketch layer back on, things will really start to pop. Okay, so let's bring back our sketch layer here, and looks like it's this guy. to kind of show up on the top here so now you can see that some of that detail is being pulled back out and sketch lines are kind of cleaning things up for us so just to finish things off oops just to finish things off I'm gonna create a new layer and using my brush that I made called the Spencil like I said I'm gonna just add a couple little lines in here to clean things up just around because the value the value is really there and I've got the background to kind of help out and so I just want to add a few detail lines it might be part lines on this hull or just defining where the cockpit is just a little bit more And my style is just, I like adding sketch lines to paintings and renderings. I just feel like they kind of help with the looseness of the overall thing. And I just, I just like it. So it's kind of what I'm doing right here. There's a little droid in the back. Maybe it's R2, maybe R4, whoever it is. Pop this line weight out right here. So you can see that, hopefully you can see rather, that with these layers and layering and building up over and over and over again that you're then able to create a pretty, pretty decent rendering, okay? Given a few hours and um, some careful consider considered time rather, you could see how uh, this process could start to bring out um, a lot more detail in your sketch. It does tell me one thing that I need to practice my speed painting. It's not really something I do a lot of, but something that, as with everything else with practice, when you get the hang of it, you're then able to execute at a pretty high level. So I just need to practice a lot more. That's what I'm saying. All right, so there's just a couple more finishing touches I wanna to add to this sketch before I call it good. And by sketch, I really do mean sketch. It's not a painting or photorealistic representation of an X-wing here. Just a sketch. Sometimes if there's like a little gray region on something, I like to kind of work that into the rest of my sketch. Even adding some shading, for example, can kind of help to pull some of those details out. All right, cool. So, a couple things. Now to kind of tweak the lighting of our scene. I'm going to, on a new layer, using the same brush, I'm gonna pick from the background one of these blues. So there's a nice hot blue. And with that, I'm going to start to paint. There we go. Just start to paint on top of this and add some lighting to my X-Wing. And you know, maybe some, some parts of this are picking up the blues and the whites from the stars. So just a little color to help this blend into the scene a little bit more. Kind of do that on the outside. And 
this kind of worked out, but I do want to show something happening at the thruster area. So whether you sketch that in or paint that in, it all works. I'm going to use a soft airbrush just to kind of lighten up parts of the wings where we might be seeing some extra light happening. Just on the top there and maybe even on our glass. And I can erase what I don't need, of course. So just like that. And I now have, oh, let's do, let's do a little airbrushing on the thruster here. Just right in here, like so. I'm sure there's a correct color for this, but I'm not sure what the color is, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. So there you go, my quick, hopefully quick enough for you guys, sketch of an X-Wing on an iPad Pro. And like I said, with a few more hours and um, or maybe even a few more minutes, we could really push this, you know, add the other X-Wings into the scene, render those out properly, and you can see how powerful a tool this is. Um, in my review video, I said that this is like an art studio uh, in the thickness of a few sheets of paper, I think, or something like that. An art studio in my bag that goes everywhere with you. And tablets, whether you use an iPad Pro or Surface Pro 4, or using a Cintiq, it's really like taking your whole art studio with you, which is really, really cool. So hopefully you've gotten something good out of this. I have, this has been fun, and that's what I'm always after is fun. If you like what you see, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash sketchaday, or you can find me on Instagram at sketchaday.com. I'm actually liking the messaging on Instagram right now, so if you wanna reach out to me there, feel free. You can always leave a comment below on the channel or this post, and you know, give me a shout out, ask a question, make a suggestion, whatever you want. And I'll try and work it into the videos here. You can also subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. So go ahead, hit that button, subscribe button, either down here or the red button. And that way you'll be the first to know when I post something like this video on your mobile phone or through email. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time right here on Sketch Today.